What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick, where the Obi-Wan Kenobi show just ended. And honestly, I really enjoyed it. Sure, it had some flaws. I mean, like, that, that was just kinda dumb. But at the end of the day, it was a really good story with some really emotional scenes that I just enjoyed. So today I do have from you Obi-Wan Kenobi from the show by AV Figures, and Trojan073 was the first to correctly guess that last week. And if you want to guess next week's minifig, make sure you stick around to the end of this video. Kenobi here is probably one of my favorite custom minifigs now. I have four different versions of him. While I love them all, I'm just really happy that AV made one specifically from this show. I mean, technically he made two, but I don't have the other one yet. This version of Obi-Wan does actually come with two different sets of arms and a hairpiece. I'll show off that other version in just a second. But to start with, we're going to keep the hood and the cape on. Okay, I also want to be very clear here, I am not going to be talking any spoilers about the Kenobi show. If you haven't seen it, you probably should. This version is how we see him early on in the show, especially in the first two episodes. The newer AV figure is from like later on in the series. And I think it does a pretty decent job of capturing what we see on screen here. Weirdly enough, this version of Obi-Wan is actually a little plain. Like there's not much going on in terms of robes or tunics or anything like that, but still AV did add some like wavy lines and everything to give the impression of depth with the shirt, making it not seem so static, which I think was absolutely the right choice here. The belt itself is also pretty slimmed down compared to what we might see in a Jedi version of him, while still being pretty similar actually. It's far less intricate than the Jedi version that AV made, but still doesn't lack any details. In fact, even the robe itself, like the brown cloth, has printing on it. You can barely make it out in this shot, there's a clear shot later on in this video, but yeah, even this has it. But if you ever want to know just how much care AV puts into these newer figures, just look at the legs. They have five different colors on them. Well, maybe technically six, but the quality is great. The printing lines up, there's no smudging or like haziness or anything. It looks professionally done and that's because it might as well be professionally done. Now the hood here is just a normal hood, but the face is a custom, like, angry Obi-Wan face. It's the only one that comes with this minifigure, but it does a great job of looking like Obi-Wan. But like I said, there are other accessories that come with this, so if you want to put the robe on, it does actually layer multiple times onto the neck piece here, and onto the legs as well. So changing between the two different versions is really simple. At first, you just have to pop off these brown arms, which do not have printing on them, allowing the robe to be opened up. I personally then take the legs off, because this allows you to pop the torso right on out. Then you just reassemble the minifigure, this time just leg straight to torso, and using the tan arms, which do have printing on them. And then of course, put the head back on, but this time with the hairpiece. While it is quite the process just to show Obi-Wan without a hood on, it's nice that these accessories were included and does help bring this minifigure to that extra little level, as it allows you to show them off in multiple ways depending what you like. For instance, one of my favorite ways is this one where you can have the hood off but with the robe still on, and yeah, like I said, you can see the printing here, which the printing does have the hood down here, so it'd be a little weird to have it on as well, which is why I like this. Okay, anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so overall, I definitely love this figure, and if you get a chance to get one, I really would recommend doing so. Next month being July, I'm going to do just clones. Yeah, I have a bunch of clones that I really wanted to show off, but I couldn't fit into like a theme, so this is what July is going to be, and we're going to start with our favorite turquoise colored clone. Let me know your guesses in the comments down below, remember to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Also, you can check me out on Discord, Instagram, and of course on Patreon, where you can join all these wonderful people and get shoutouts like Jonathan. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.